Okay, part uh, 19 of the truck project. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of night shift and I thought I'd do a, an update on uh, what's been happening lately. Uh, I've been doing a bit more fabrication and um, this time it's, uh, it's uh, for the uh, independent rear suspension of the truck and uh, what I've decided to do is uh, basically uh, improve the factory forward pieces, uh, upgrade the the the, uh, the half shafts and the the stub axles and and all, just basically uh, add to the add to the strength of the drive line and and maybe tweak the geometry at the back a little bit as well while I'm at it. And uh, basically, what I've gone and done is. Uh, fabricated some, um, well, in the process of fabricating some rear wheel, rear suspension uprights. Um, this is the, um, this is the original Ford uh, AU IRS piece. Um, it, it, uh, it runs a, um, it runs with a 27 spline uh, axle and anyway what's what I'm doing now is that because I've decided to upgrade the the rotor diameter and um, basically I, I just want to if I put a lot of horsepower through this thing I don't want to break it so basically it's I'll, I'll upgrade it all now and um, with a bit of luck in the future with a bit of um, it should put up with some abuse um, in the future, no matter where the engine evolves to, um, uh, this uh, this setup should be um, should be plenty enough to cope with uh, any horsepower that I may find down the track. Anyway, um, what I've been doing here is I've been building um, this. Oh, I'm making shadows. Basically, this is a um, this is a the start of a a hub piece that I'm, I'm building and uh, what I'm using with that is a um, this uh, wheel hub bearing carrier it's a it's a 33 spline unit it's a one and a half inch uh, diameter shaft in there so it's um, it should be quite strong up to the task it's a four and a half inch um, bolt pattern, same as the Ford, it's actually a dodge part and um, what's what's going in with that is a, um, I've bought these, uh, these are a chrome molly, what they call them, a micro stub and what the, that will, they take the um, 108 mil uh, CV drive shafts and um, yeah, one and a half, one half inch spline, um, 33 spline count. Um, so that will marry up with that. There are MP part, uh, where's the part number? 162310-0. So I believe they're a chrome molly piece. They're pretty good. Um, the, uh, these are, a, they're a Timken bearing carrier. Now there's a lot of junk around on eBay, but these things, this particular Timken has a um, has a 10-year warranty on them. They're actually, I believe, they're a tapered roller bearing. They're not a um, bull race. So, um, and the Timken company is quite happy to warrant them for 10 years. So, I went with them. Um, worth a little bit of extra dollar you spend on those, but so yeah, that's so that's uh, that's what's been happening so far. Um, Basically, yeah, uh, from the factory piece, um, got a little crazy and decided to um, build my own wheel hub carriers. Uh, in the future, um, I'll have to um, build the um, suspension pickup points and the lower point. Um, the geometry tweak will be. Um, Probably what will happen is these um, the the uh, the bearing center will uh, will rise maybe up to 30 mil. So that'll that'll um, the end result will be a um, 
a lower lower ride height for the rear of the truck, so the thing should fit, sit fairly flat, and it it, 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 it it mucks around with the roll center and the um, instant center and all sorts of things like that. So, but at the end of the day, um, uh, I'm hoping that it makes um makes some improvement to the how it handles um, with the um, with the independent rear end. Um, I'll get some coil over shocks for it. Uh, ride tech of um, are on the top of the list at the moment, so um, that or some Bill Steins, um, but um, that's that's to come. So just uh, just a quick update video with what's happening. Um, there's a there's a hub unit just uh, just is in, in the process of um, it's um, it'll be hitting the lathe in the next couple of days, and it'll be um, I'll I'll spin it spin it back up to um, up to this uh, stage and um, I've started to um, mock up the um, the handbrake mechanism there uh, what I've done on the back I've put a um, there's a small uh, section there that I've um, reconfigured for the lever to come out the back so basically um, I'll see if I can put this together Basically what happens is this, this piece will go in there and what happens, I've also, um, the, um, the factory oops, basically um, that's the back plate for the uh, the factory piece and what I've done here is basically I've uh, spun that up in the lathe it will um, it it takes the factory um, I'll be using all the factory mechanism um, just with my own housing and what happens is that uh, that will basically go in there um, there needs to be a, a, a slot cut in the back of it for the lever uh, what will happen? Uh, what will happen next? Is, um, basically, the the handbrake mechanism will sit in about there. So that sits about there. Uh, now these are a um, these are 300, 330 mil rotor, um, 28 by 330 mil, uh, slotted and dimpled, so they should be plenty up to the task. And uh, what will happen is that uh, then uh, basically. Um, Uh, on goes the Brembo caliper. Uh, that's again, that's a, that's a matching rear set from the um, the G GPX uh, calipers that are on the uh, matching the front set from a I think 2014 Camaro, as per Chevrolet on the uh, on the thing. And uh, the uh, yeah, this will uh, run up run up from um, behind and chrome molly should take a, uh, the abuse um, so yeah that's that's what's happening at the moment um, so yeah I've been uh, fabricating busy doing all this stuff but Yeah, that's the rear side. So what will happen is, yeah, that's a, it's a little, um, I don't know what to call it, like a pie cut there. Um, so the lever can uh, work from the handbrake mechanism. 
Uh, yeah, Brembo caliper. Um, probably what will happen is there will be a uh, basically a basically run a piece of steel around this part of the caliper and and uh, drill through that piece straight into um, straight into the straight into the caliper and then um, <coughs> what will happen after that is the um, we'll be looking to um, duplicate some uh, upper and lower suspension mounts and uh, this uh, steering arm on the back for the independent so anyway that's the update um, things are happening slowly fabricating is very slow fiddly uh, but it is happening um, yeah it'd be nice if it was finished tomorrow but it's not going to happen um, but anyway when it does uh, when it does happen I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be all worth it so anyway so that's the update um, it's uh, it's getting late here now so I'll, uh, I'll pack it up uh, no more noise and uh, I'll uh, maybe uh, finish these up soon and, and, and put up uh, part 20 anyway uh, thanks for that cheers